Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, I put up a video earlier for 20 free chests. If you did not get them, go find that video. The link is in the description. It's only a five second video. It shouldn't be hard to find. It's on my channel. It's in a playlist. And I only have one Monster Legend playlist. So it should be easy to find this stuff. Anyways, today I want to talk about what to do with these workers and the reason why is because they give out all these worker boosts. So I feel every month, nobody knows how to utilize them. All right, so what I do, and I'm sure a lot of people say, I can't do this because I'm already full. Well, then you have a problem keeping trash. All right, so I just build one of them then when it's done, come over here to info, click the store button, and voila, that's how you use a worker. Now I don't recommend this unless you have nothing else to do with your workers, like currently I still have many of these habitats that need leveled up, like I'm about to start with the Santa one right here, and I go around and do all these. And the mythic ones also, like they'll need leveled up. But if you were looking for something to do with your workers, that's the tip that I'm trying to give is that you can stock up. Come over here to categories. Uh, actually, it's land. Which one are the yeah, others? So you can just come over here and click them like that, and you can come right here and you can just sell them, and you get half your money back. Plus, you can just keep it here and save it for like. Whenever you go broke and you need money, since you weren't thinking about this money or you didn't add it in, it basically is like a savings account in real life. Um, it becomes really easy to sell them fast, like once you come to this screen, which is over here where the categories are, because if you don't click the categories, every time you want to sell one, you got to go find it. Also, uh, if you watched my earlier video this week on the channel where we opened up all those bronze chests, uh, some people thought I got ripped off, that I didn't have good odds, which I myself wasn't expecting a whole lot. I haven't opened up very many since, meaning I've opened up some bronze chests, but I did open up like, I think two gold chests. Anyway, I've added two new relics to my inventory. I got this one out of a bronze chest, I think, and and this one out of a gold, or vice versa. But I'd only opened up like 20 chests and got both of them. So that was pretty cool, and I guess it makes up for the thousand that you guys watched me open that I didn't get any diamonds out of. And I'm not sure, but I think that leaves me able, more than able to be able to craft any one of these I wanted. Like, uh, I don't really want any of them at the moment, but any of the ones that I guess are craftable, like, yeah, see, easily can craft another one. Um, I'm not really sure what to be making on the channel other than everyday videos, and if I see anything new, I'll let you know. Um, by the way, I've won a couple of PvPs since last night. I haven't done much. I've got beat up probably just as much as I've won. But I'll just go over uh, these points, and then I'll show you my log, what I did today in the PvP, getting ready for, um, I guess a day and a half. We was only able to buy one. Uh, come over here. Um, as you can see, that uh, bottom one there, the attack loss, I have no idea how I lost that. I felt so, like, I just wanted to cry myself to sleep losing that fight, but anyway. Anyway, you can see that I've 
been outranked and outclassed, but it still doesn't stop me from beating level 140s occasionally. Get smashed up by that one guy. Um, I've been saving to get ready for trying to go up the PvP to try and beat my record. I've been trying to save my revenges, and I think we're up to five. Meaning I could have used them earlier today, but I didn't. I've just been trying to keep my attacks lower than 15 by just doing a couple and trying not to fall too far out of the ranks. Which currently we're like 500 behind, or 400 behind our, our goal. So... Hopefully it's not going to be too complicated, and then I've been saving these for tomorrow. Meaning, uh, tonight when I finish my quest, I'll have eight, and I have one already started where I haven't picked my monsters yet, and then I'll have four more ready to be collected, so I'll be able to do live duels live again tomorrow. So, it might end up turning into, like, back-to-back -back videos tomorrow, I'm not sure. Uh, how I've been farming food, uh, that's another thing. I was working on cells the last time I made a constructive video. We, I showed you how to get cells for Wormlad, and I told you that I was going to be collecting cells for Graken. I have not been having luck with the Graken cells. I've been getting the opposite of the nature cells, but it didn't matter because I also needed lightning cells for Hornet. But um, as you can see, we're like 5 million food higher, which I think we had like a million yesterday. But what I've been doing is just using these two and putting big foods on them and then putting the regular that I farm all day every day, which I probably got to get out of that habit. Um, there and that's how I've been getting my food up and using this guy is what doubles the farms and I'm almost only three away from the 10 which by the way guys I think the first one to get five percent is like seven activations and then the seven is like five activations and then the 10 is like three so I wasn't expecting that before I ever like invested in this guy to begin with and people who don't think this guy's a good investment they probably don't think that because they don't even think gold runes are a good investment so it's 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 kind of crazy that that many people get dependent on a pass for double gold and don't even realize that you, double gold is just some gold runes with a boost but um yeah, you can see I've been crafting more of those epics. Uh, I have another one going there, and then over here I'm cra or I'm breeding um, mace coins. Uh, somewhere I think I seen somebody breed two commons that weren't commons, or breed two legends, I mean, and get one of those like commons that aren't commons that I've seen. So like, I don't know much about them. I guess they're called the old school monsters or something like way before I got playing. But anyway, I'm hoping that one day I'll just breed one of them off of two legends. But if that's not possible, somebody in the comments let me know so I'm not just being stupid. Um, yeah, and then over here in the extract, we've been keeping it busy trying to get the nature cells. Uh, we've been leveling them up to 90 with the food. Uh, we got two more brewing, which we're going to level up to 90 and turn them to cells. Or feed them and then turn them to cells. But uh, I want to go ahead and show you the lightning one too because... It was at like 104, I guess, or something like that, or 100, and now we're up to like 120. So those are the two that I'll probably be putting the most in is uh, Thunder and Nature. So stay tuned for another video tomorrow, guys. Uh, I'll just go ahead and show you my lab while I'm here. Uh, if you want to see anything specific, please drop a comment. I do not mind going over something specific. Um, trying to share information so if you're in need of information please ask as many questions as you can yeah that lord pump seed that's got a story right there 25 cells uh i finished first in my first ever race playing this game and that was lord pump seed uh, i'd only been playing like two weeks or three weeks when it, that race happened and i started on october 6th playing this game last year so it hasn't even been one year yet but I've had to wear those 25 cells of shame since because I was told that I'd never be able to get the Lord Pump Seed monster, but supposedly there's a chance that you can get him in these chests. Um, I am saving the chest that I've been getting, uh, the birthday chest, guys. What I'm planning to do with these birthday chests, besides just open them on camera for you guys, is um, 
I have 69 over there, one over there makes 70, and then two monster chests from them. So I have like 72 chests to open up to try and get some goodies. But I'm going to wait as long as possible without running out of time for this event. Because uh, this event, each chest that I have saved, which I have 70 of them saved, gives me a ticket. So that's enough already to put me past 100 tickets, which automatically will give me those other five chests. And if you look and you see how I have one chest, and then you look over in my storage unit, and you see that I also have one chest. That is because those chests actually contain different stuff, meaning the odds are way better on these chests than they are on these chests and it said that in one of those spam letters that they pop up so that's how I know all that but anyway guys uh, stay tuned for daily videos uh, hit the like button if you're liking the content and like I said ask a question in the comments if you want to see anything peace